two factions battled for dominance. The Kingdom of Azeroth was a prosperous one. What a shit cinematic. Well, it was made like 300 years ago, but here's some orc background. They lived peacefully on Drenor with the Drenai, but Kil'jaeden started stirring shit, and the orcs started fighting the Drenai with Nezul, a powerful shaman turned warlock leading the way. A human sorcerer called Medivh on Azeroth, possessed by Sargeras, fed images of the riches of Azeroth back to Nezul, sort of like those steroid adverts you get whilst browsing on Facebook. Possessed Medivh and Nezul opened the dark portal on each of their sides and flooded through the portal with their leaders, including Gul'dan and Blackhand the Destroyer, only to be whooped by the Alliance first time. Lothar and Khadgar of the Alliance find Medivh and kill him for King Lane Rin and Sargeras' spirit escapes and they walk off into the sunset together. Meanwhile, Stormwind has been sacked by Orgrim Doomhammer who killed Blackhand and is now the Horde leader and an orc assassin called Garona even kills King Lane. What a bitch. An orc called Durotan and his girlfriend Draka try to warn Orgrim that Gul'dan isn't actually acting for the Horde but more just kill Jaden and the Burning Legion but Gul'dan's assassins take them out, but the assassins fail to notice the baby, baby Thrall, who's left there and saved by the Alliance. Anduin Lothar takes over and retreats, but then forms the Alliance of Lordaeron. So that moves us into the Second War. The Alliance's position at this point is as bad as these graphics. They're on the run, and they have to ask help from King Menethil from Lordaeron. He gets involved even though he's so old he's probably wearing a nappy under all that armour, and it probably isn't that clean. This formed the Alliance of Lordaeron. The name sounds good, but it actually means the Alliance of much smaller than before. Despite this though, they did pretty well. The Horde starts to team up and attacks Lordaeron. Gul'dan helps by making the first Death Knight, and gets control of the Red Dragonflight using the Dragon Soul. But the Alliance push them right back to Stormwind, not before the Horde breaks Zul'jin free, which is the beginning of the Trolls' full time membership into the Horde. The Dark Portal's closed by the Alliance, leaving only a rift behind. Uther Lightbringer is introduced to reclaim sections of Lordaeron that have fallen with his big hammer of compensation. And that's pretty much all I want to say about the Second War.